Uh, Soldier knows best here, and I'm getting ready to play a game in Halo 3, but I decided to go ahead and show you some of the new things coming up in the new Xbox Live dashboard update in the early fall. And so they invited a few people to actually come check out the beta version of it and some of the new features before the mass public release. So I'm going to show you some of the new things here. Right, I'm going to go to, first thing I'm going to go to is my avatar here. And I haven't customized my avatar since they first introduced uh, avatars into the uh, last dashboard update. But a couple of new things in here that have made me go through and actually change a couple of things. So the biggest thing here is going to the marketplace. See, they got like a uh, Halo 3 marketplace now. And they have certain ones for Fable 2 and certain games. So you go to this Halo 3 one. Actually, you can uh, have certain search that just for uh, the Halo 3 game. So I got this shirt that's all stuck. I don't know whether this was in here before the update or not, but I do like this shirt. So I went ahead and got that. Also, another big thing is, is you can actually have props now. So you can actually carry around this uh, chicken with the wheel. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I got that here, but you can actually see your avatar interacting with it. Some little voodoo necklace here. A uh, little seltzer bottle, and he doesn't spray it for some reason. I haven't seen him spray it. Um, and some other little things. But I got this little Halo RC Warthog here, kind of a little remote control Warthog. And so now your avatar will be driving around, stuff like that. So we'll even bought that one. And so those are pretty much the, uh, the updates with that. Now some other minor things with the avatar, but I'm not going to get into that. You, you can actually see those. Not really big updates itself. But now where am I going to take you? Let's see what I'm going to take. I'm going to take it to my game library here. All right. So let's go to game library here. Now, game library is, of course, where you can see all the games that you have played, like arcade games or the regular games you bought in the store. I'm sweating. Look at all this sweat. It's hot. I turn the, I turn the AC down because I don't got my, my, my microphones picking up all the noise in the background. Anyway, so I go to my Halo 3 uh, game here. And actually, you can actually rate the games now. So you can actually rate them. And, of course, I'm going to give Halo 3 all five stars. And uh, you can choose to play the game straight from here. And also, you're looking at the achievements. So you can go through and see the achievements a little bit better for individual games. And um, actually, it'll show here your gamer score, like how many points are available for this game, how many points you actually got, and also the achievements. How many achievements, the same thing, how many achievements are available, and how many you actually got. And so now I'm going to go to, let me get out of here, and I'm going to show you the biggest update that came in the last dashboard update. Um, it's the Netflix, the, the ability to actually stream Netflix movies straight to your Xbox. Well, now they added a couple of new things that are definitely a little bit better. And you see some of my friends are playing Netflix. And I'm going to show you some of the things that are involved with that. Uh, but now, before this um, new update that's coming out, to add videos to your instant queue, you actually have to go online and log into the website and then actually um, add the videos to the instant queue from your website. And then um, they'll be added automatically to your Xbox Live. Uh, but now you can actually add them straight to this from the Xbox uh, Live itself. So you can see they got it broken down to categories, new arrivals as far as the new movies that are available. You got Step Brothers, some other ones. TV, action adventure, comedy, sci-fi fantasy, television, classics, and documentary. To say I'm going to go ahead and add uh, Step Brothers here to my InstaQ, I'm going to go on it and press the blue button. And now it will be in my instant queue right there so guy can go ahead and choose to start playing it but now also another addition is the party to actually be able to watch movies together with your friends on xbox live all at the same time so you can click start a party and now i can go ahead and choose to add one of my friends here and my brother dr timotheus and uh, I invite him to the party. And now while you wait for all your friends to get into the party itself, you can make a suggestion to what you should watch. And so, of course, I'm going to see what we should be watch. We should watch. Now, all the movies are not available to watch um, um, as a party for some reason. I know the ones with the bottom right-hand corner that says Stars Play. You can't watch those with your friends for some reason. But I say I want to go ahead and watch Ronin, which is a pretty good movie. Suggest to the party. And now, and now here in the party section here, you show the movie, just press A, and now, and press play. And so now all your people in your party will actually be able to get together and watch the movie together. And so now it's determining my video quality like usual. And Doobie 94 is coming in and out of my party for some reason. Okay. 
And so now you'll see here, it's kind of like a little theater setup. So you actually now you're on the little personal home theater setup. There's my little avatar running. And you can do a little um, emoticons, how do you say that? Um, the little things here say I'm in love. I'm going to show that I'm in love here. Blowing some hearts and do different things like that. And you don't have to watch it in this view the whole time, only when you want to see your, your people and your friends' avatars and stuff like that. So you can actually change the display mode as well. Okay, but let me go ahead and stop this. I don't want to get any copyright issues before you actually see it. All right, so and so there, um, it's a pretty nice little setup as far as the theater setup. And then now, you know, there are some other things with the update. Now, a lot of them are just minor little UI changes, some things with the settings. Um, a couple of things like it can, you can have it automatically detect your video settings and, and kind of adjust them to better fit your TV. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let me see here. They got a little section just for. Um, this Xbox PV here, and you actually going to see all the new features and stuff like that. Um, games on demand, uh, to be able to download games and buy games straight over Xbox Live to your Xbox 360 is available now as well. Well, it's not available in this preview yet, but it will be in the actual update, and hopefully they'll probably release that in the preview here soon. And as soon as they do that, I'll actually show you how that works. And other than that, some couple of the little UI and, and party settings and stuff like that. Minor things you can find up on your own. But this is Xbox Live. Quick little sneak peek at the new uh, dashboard update coming soon. I'll make a look. Uh, I'll make another uh, video when some other significant updates come to this. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.